With T waves, their polarity in a normal EKG should be similar to that of the QRS complexes. Quantification of the similarity of polarity is referred to as the QRST angle. When evaluating only the six frontal EKG leads, the QRST angle is simply the difference between the QRS axis and the T wave axis, which can either be taken from the computer's calculation or estimated using a similar technique to that used for estimating QRS axis. An abnormally large angle may be an independent risk factor for cardiovascular mortality. There are a number of different abnormalities of the T wave. First, they can be inverted, which may be relatively minor, or can be very pronounced. Since T waves should have a similar polarity as the QRS complexes, it can be predicted in which leads T wave inversions may be normal. First, the T wave in AVR should always be inverted. Second, T wave inversion can be normal in lead 3 and AVF if the patient's QRS axis is close to zero degrees. Also in AVL, if the patient has a QRS axis close to positive 90. And the T-wave inversions can be present in V1 and V2. There are many etiologies of inverted T-waves. This list largely overlaps with those etiologies causing ST depressions. The three major additions include intracranial hemorrhage, in which case the T-wave inversions are occasionally extremely dramatic, late-stage pericarditis, and hypothyroidism. Instead of being inverted, T-waves may also be flattened or even biphasic with both positive and negative components. The EKG machine algorithm will often interpret these as a nonspecific T-wave abnormality. The etiologies of flattened or biphasic T waves are similar to those of inverted T waves. Finally, T waves may be unusually tall and or peaked. The presence of peaked T waves are usually diagnosed based on gestalt rather than on strict criteria. However, inconsistently applied criteria include T wave height of greater than 5 mm in the limb leads or 10 mm in the precordial leads. Etiologies of peak T waves include hyperkalemia, a normal variant which usually affects just the mid precordial leads, and rarely an acute MI, in which case they're called hyperacute T waves and can immediately precede the development of ST elevations in those same leads. Occasionally, I've heard clinicians try to distinguish the etiologies of peak T waves based on their specific morphologic characteristics while the hyperacute T waves generally have a broader base and can for the most part be distinguished from those of hyperkalemia, the T waves of hyperkalemia and the normal variant can be too similar to distinguish these etiologies on the basis of just the EKG. There are two last abnormalities I'm going to discuss in this video. These abnormalities typically affect all waveforms. The first is low voltage as seen here. The presence of low voltage is defined as the presence of either a QRS amplitude in all limb leads of under 5 mm and or in all precordial leads of under 10 mm. Low voltage is the consequence of some insulating substance coming between the electrodes on the chest wall and the conduction system. Therefore, etiologies include obesity, COPD, in which the hyperinflated lungs act as insulation, a pleural or pericardial effusion, myocardial infiltration, and hypothyroidism. In hypothyroidism, proposed explanations include occult pericardial effusion and or occult ascites and soft tissue edema of the chest wall, among others. The last abnormality of this video is electrical alternans. This is a beat-to-beat -beat alteration in the appearance of waveforms. It most commonly manifests as a tall R wave alternating with a short one. The only significant cause of this is a large pericardial effusion in which the heart literally rocks back and forth within a distended pericardial sac with each contraction. Although electrical alternands can be seen in effusions significant enough to cause cardiac tamponade, the presence of alternands does not necessarily suggest tamponade specifically.
Hope you liked our video. Share this information with your loved ones and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.